Hey everyone, Tom here, and in this video we're going to look at a few reasons why your snowblower won't start. So your snowblower just won't start and the snow is starting to pile up. Well, good news. We put together a quick list that will help you get your snowblower back up and running. Now let's get started. Carburetors. The carburetor mixes air and fuel together to a proper ratio to allow combustion. If your snowblower isn't starting, it may be because there's a problem with the carburetor. Remove the carburetor and then dismantle it. Clean it with carb cleaner and replace any worn components. Then you can reinstall it into your engine. Gasket. The purpose of a gasket is to seal two joining pieces tightly together, sealing off air and fluids from entering areas they don't belong. Remove the carburetor and check the gasket. If the gasket's damaged, it'll need to be replaced. Spark plug. If your spark plug is bad, your engine may not turn over. Remove the spark plug and look for signs of damage, corrosion, or melted electrodes. If the plug is dirty, you can use a wire brush to clean it, or you can simply replace it. You can also test it with a spark plug tester. Primer bulbs. Primer bulbs allow you to pump fuel directly into the carburetor. If the primer bulb is cracked, leaking fuel, or you can hear air entering when pushing on it, the primer bulb is bad. You will need to replace it. Ignition switch. The key turns the ignition switch to the on position, allowing current to flow to the spark plug, and in some cases, supplying power to the starter. Remove the casing which contains the ignition switch and inspect it for damage or corrosion. You can also test it for continuity with the multimeter. Thanks for watching. Remember, we have thousands more videos to help you with all of your outdoor power equipment, and if you have any questions for us, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos to help you finish the job.